In this video, we're going to talk about a special equivalence relation on the set of integers. Fix a non-zero integer a, and we're going to say that m is related to n if and only if a divides the difference of m and n. If that's the case, we're going to say m and n are congruent modulo a. Here are a couple of examples. 5 is congruent to 17 mod 4. Because 17 minus 5 is 12, and 12 is divisible by 4. However, 3 is not congruent to 22 mod 8, because 22 minus 3 is 19, and 8 does not divide 19. You are actually more familiar with this relation than you might realize. Suppose it is 11 o'clock in the morning. What time is it going to be in 21 hours? Well, is the answer 11 plus 21, which is 32? No, of course not. The answer is, uh, well, let's see, 21 is three hours less than a full day, so it's actually going to be 8 o'clock in the morning at that point. Notice that 32 minus 8 is 24. And 24, of course, is a multiple of itself. So 32 is congruent to 8 modulo 24, or modulo 12, depending on how you count your time. So this relation is how you've been talking about time your entire life. If we have an equivalence relation, then that means we have equivalence classes. What is the equivalence class of 7 modulo 5? All right, well, uh, of course, we're going to have 7 in this equivalence class. Every equivalence class includes that element because equivalence relations are by definition reflexive. We're looking for integers n such that 5 divides 7 minus n or 7 minus n is equal to 5k. We can rearrange that to see that n is going to be equal to 7 minus 5k. So all of the integers that we're looking for are going to be a multiple of 5 away from 7. That includes the integer 2, the integer negative 3, the integer negative 8, etc. And going in the other direction, we have the integer 12, the integer 17, and etc. So another way to think about the, this equivalence modulo 5 is that 2 integers are equivalent mod 5 if they differ by a multiple of 5. Uh, same with any integer, not just 7. The smallest non-negative member of the equivalence class is the remainder of 7 divided by 5, which gives us yet another way to think about this relation. Two integers are related if and only if they have the same remainder when divided by a. Here's a very cool application of this relation. Suppose that u and v are equivalent, and so are x and y. It turns out that this equivalence carries through the algebraic operations. x plus u is equivalent to y plus v, and x times u is equivalent to y times v. That allows us to simplify some very complicated looking computations, modulo and integer. Let's calculate 13 to the 7th power plus 29 times 25 modulo 7. Now what you could do to simplify this is you could calculate this number and then take its remainder modulo 7 and that would give you the simplest integer that it's equivalent to. Or you can do your equivalences first before you do the calculation. So 13 modulo 7 is equivalent to 6 but it's also equivalent to negative 1. So this is because 13 is equivalent to negative 1 mod 7. 29 is 1 off of 28, which is a multiple of 7. So 29 is equivalent to 1. 25 is 4 off of 21, so 25 is equivalent to 4. This number is equal to 4 minus 1, because negative 1 to the 7th power is 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. So 3 is congruent to 13 to the 7 plus 29 times 25 mod 7. 